Stillwater is often called the birthplace of Minnesota. In 1848, a territorial convention that began the process of establishing Minnesota as a state was held in Stillwater at the corner of Myrtle and Main Streets. Minnesota officially became a separate territory in 1849 and after population increases, a state in 1858. Stillwater became the site of the territory's first prison, the Minnesota Territorial Prison later known as Minnesota State Prison, was opened in 1853. The prison held Cole, Jim, and Bob Younger, three of the Younger brothers of the James Younger Gang. Lumbering was the predominant industry in the St. Croix River Valley in the second half of the 19th century. For many years, lumbermen sent large rafts of logs down the St. Croix River. They were collected at the St. Croix boom site two miles upstream of Stillwater and processed in Stillwater's many sawmills. Steamboats were used most widely on the river from 1860 to 1890. A few still operate as entertainment venues today. David Swain operated a shipyard and engine works in Stillwater. Excursion steamboats such as the Verne, Swain, and the Capitol began to operate in the early 20th century, taking passengers to other cities along the river. On October 18, 1921, Charles Streit invented the automatic pop-up bread toaster in Stillwater. In 1923, Nelson's Ice Cream Parlor was established. In 1931, construction of the Stillwater lift bridge over the St. Croix River was completed at a final cost of $460,174, which was split equally between Minnesota and Wisconsin. The lift bridge is one of the city's most iconic and visible local monuments. It was part of Minnesota State Highway 36 until 2017 when it closed to vehicle traffic. In 2020, it became part of a five-mile trail loop running through Stillwater and Houlton, Wisconsin. <music>